Hello friends. Today we are going to see how responsive card works. How to create responsive card. I am going to show you manually in very easy steps. There is also a plugin. Breakpoint. With this plugin we can do it in one step only. But Breakpoint plugin is paid not free. So I will create responsive card without any plugin. Let's start. I will take a frame and add an image. Give radius value 15. Now add a heading. I am going to add some random data here to make the card. I have added here some dummy text. I will create some random buttons here. Hit Shift A to give it auto layout frame. Add stroke and give it a radius value of 20. Reduce top and bottom padding. I will change the stroke color. Let's take the color from the image. Also change the color of the text inside the button. Drag it down a little bit. Hit Command D or Control D to duplicate the frame. Let's change the name. Add one more button. Select all buttons and increase left and right padding. I will add one more button and drag it down. Give it a fill color. I will select the color from the image. Change the text color. I have this data ready. Now I will do some changes. Select the heading and hit Shift A. I will change the top and bottom padding to zero. Select the description and hit Shift A. I will change the top and bottom padding to zero. Now select these buttons and hit Shift A. Or Click plus sign from right side to add auto layout frame. Reduce the spacing between the buttons. This button is already an auto layout button. Now select all four frames from right section and hit shift A. Or auto layout from right side. This is a single frame now. Select image and hit shift A. Go to heading frame and change it to fill container. Make it left aligned. Select the heading text and make it fill container. Select the description frame and make it fill container. Make it left align. Select the text inside the description and make it fill container. Select the buttons and change it to fill container. Select the Learn More button and make it Fill Container. Now we have left and right two frames. Select both and hit Shift A. Let's add some fill color. Give some padding in all directions. This is fine. I will change the background color so that we can see card properly. Give it a radius value to make corner round. Select the outer frame and make it wrap when we change the size of the frame. Now, it's time to set the maximum and minimum width of the frame. Select image frame and give it a maximum width value of 450. 
Also, minimum width value of 220. Select the right frame and give it a maximum width value of 450. Also, minimum width value of 220. And it will be fill container. Select the image frame and make it fill container. Now this button is going out. Let's change the auto layout to wrap when decreasing the size of the frame. This looks fine now. I will reduce the spacing a little. Let's test it now. Yes, it is working what we were looking for. You can see card is not looking good here because we had set the minimum value to 220 and here it is 201. So work is done here. I hope you like the videos. You can ask in the comment if have any doubt. Thanks for watching.